Exciting, excited to be here. I've been realizing and recognizing that I'm uh, young old. That's what's going on with me right now. I'm old, but I'm young. You know, I'm, I'm young in the sense that if I want something to eat, I can just, I know I can warm it up and put it in the microwave. I'm old that in the sense that if I go to a barbecue, I expect my woman to make me a plate. <laughs> huh? See, yeah, bro, I know about making that plate. All these young girls like, what? Make you a what? Make me a plate. Four food groups and one thing extra on there. Put that on there. That's what a plate is. You know, sexting, that's what the kids can do now. They sex, they talk sexy on the text. I try to do that. Been married 17 years, ain't quite the same, you know? I'm on my way home the other day, I'm like, hey girl, daddy about to pull up, you know? The hashtag, pull up though, hashtag. It's different, you know, when you put the hashtag in front of it, it's different. I might wanna dot, 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 you know what I'm saying? She gonna text me back, pick up some bread. You know what, that is not the same thing. That's not how this works, babe. Young old, man. I feel, oh, you know, I feel good, but you know when you get older, you don't know you older because old stuff just happened to you. Like you be pouring cereal and your knee will go out. You oh. old. <laughs> I might have to stop messing with these Honey Nut Cheerios. If that if that's going to happen every time. You know, you know, when you get older, guys, you get in your 40s and your 50s, we got to take them tests we don't like. You know, you got to do the colonoscopy and the prostate exam. We don't like them, you know. The colonoscopy is a little different now because we, we can do it. It's like an outpatient. You go in, they knock you out. You know, you don't know what's going on. I know that's my excuse. Somebody said, yeah, they ran up in you. said, I was like, I was knocked out. I have no idea what they did to me. I was knocked out. But the prostate, now that's the one that's different. That can happen at any time. You can go to the doctor for your allergies. And all of a sudden he come walking in with these rubber gloves on. And I'm like, you know what? I just need to know why my eyes keep watering. I don't feel, I feel like those gloves are inappropriate, sir. And I really didn't like my experience because my doctor checked me and then he left out the room and he came back and he was all earnest and solemn. And he said, said, you know, I don't really know if I felt what I thought I felt. So would you mind terribly if I had another doctor come in here and check you as well? I say, oh no, y'all ain't running no train on me up in here. Whatever I got, I got, okay? Prescribe me a multivitamin and I'll be on my way, sir. Good, man. Been trying to lose weight, that's the big thing. You know, everybody gotta lose weight. You know, I've been trying, man. I've, everybody lost weight. You know, all my friends in Hollywood, everybody got skinny and I just didn't want to be the last fat black dude in Hollywood, that's all. But Anthony Anderson lost weight, Rick Ross lost weight, Al Roker lost weight, Al Sharpton lost weight. Al Sharpton lost too much weight though. Anybody seen Al Sharpton lately? He, he ain't lost neck weight. Have you seen this man on TV? He looked like a bobblehead on TV, just. <laughs> Hey, y'all, I'm saying it in a tent. I'll holler. 